my name is Doris Vitok. I want to tell you about uh, an experience I had. When I was um, fairly young, I think about uh, five or six, I wrote, I was, we were learning about how to write persuasive essays, and we didn't get the usual prompts about, uh, you know, tell why you think uniforms should be in school or whatever. We uh, got a few of those later, but one of mine was about books, and um, I think it was something to do with bookstores, but what I wrote was uh, why bookstores should be open for 24 hours a day. And I went on to describe how much I love bookstores, how disappointed I would be if we were walking by and it was 9 p.m. and it was closed. So this was a very uh, kind of petulant nine-year-old or seven-year-old or eight-year-old, however old I was, I was very demanding. I really want bookstores to be open. I still hold that view that bookstores should be open for 24 hours a day because I, uh, to me, bookstores and libraries, places where there are tons of books, are just like candy stores. You walk in and you see all these delights that are uh, incredibly sweet, and unlike candy, you don't have your parents lecturing you about brushing your teeth after you've read a book. So that's always what I tell kids. It's uh, all the enjoyment for not so much lecturing from your parents. In fact, your parents will be very happy when you pick up a book. My parents, uh, when I started reading, I would just read so much I'd want to read all day that they would often have to tell me to put down that book so you'll eat your dinner or eat your lunch or uh, whatever it was. So to me, books have always held that allure that chocolate or uh, gummy worms or whatever kind of candy have for many kids. I love candy, but I also love books, and I hold books in very high esteem. You ask me what would you take to a desert island, and uh, definitely these would be the answer.